so uh, welcome to the second part of the video tutorial um, so what we are going to do in here we are going to make a new expert advisor for George um, what we are going uh, what we're doing here we just click this button created a new expert advisor I'll name this expert advisor George make sure I'll, uh, I'm spelling his name correct J O R G E yes J O R G E yes George expert okay let's say George expert okay and finish it as I click finish um, this uh, thing has been created for me okay so one initialization function the initialization function and the start function you all know all these things the crap you know all this okay so what we will uh, what we will be needing in here will be needing lots stop loss um, slippage maybe we will need slippage and um, we will also need um, take profit uh, take profit uh, value uh, so let's copy these things from here why bother typing again and again so stop loss and the magic number uh, well by the way um, Baraquil is another my follower he has sent me this EA that he has made uh, I don't know if uh, he is a man or, or a girl I really can't uh, judge people based on names because uh, I'm not I'm not much uh, uh, I don't uh, really understand the English names and I don't know if it's English or uh, Russian or whatever but he also sent me or she also sent me this uh, EA to check for him or her if uh, what problem it has so maybe I'll also make a video for him also okay uh, anyways let's focus on George and let's continue making EA for him so the magic number I have copied uh, I'll copy the slippage value also uh, and what I'll be needing here I'll also need the two function to open buy and open sell stop well I'll be taking these functions from there okay and what what else I need uh, I need close all close close cell maybe I don't need close cell function because I'm not closing anything there okay yeah I'm not closing anything so I don't need this oh yes that's all so <clears throat> what I need else um, I need to place um, three uh, actually one buy market order one buy stop order and one sell stop order so I'll be needing three functions here one buy buy order which I already have it one sell stop order so let me change this function a little to to a cell stop order so I'll call it open cell stop and I'll change the values here I really want that very cell stop order to be placed uh, bit minus uh, 50 multiplied by point what it will do it will take the current bit value the bid price and it will subtract 50 multiplied by point from there so what it will do here it will say for example the current price is this it will subtract uh, 50 multiplied by 0 0.001 one let's say if you have uh, the four point the four numbers of the decimal decimal point like here I have four numbers of the decimal point so the point value is 0 0.0001 okay so th this uh, this will become the opening price of this cell stopper so I'll change it to cell stop 
the logs will be um, current lots uh, the lots of the trade the buy trade and the lots multiplied by um, multiplied by 0.5 I guess no not multiplied by plus actually plus 0 0.5 well he says that well actually i can copy it and i'll make up i'll make it a factor here extern uh, load uh, sorry double uh, lot factor equals 0 0.05 so he can actually change this factor into whatever the value he wants to so I'll put lot factor in here. Lot factor. Make sure you spell spell it correct. Lot factor, lot factor. And the price at which it will be placed already discussed. The slip page will be here is five. I'll change it to three. And well, in for this tutorial, actually. Um, we don't need any any uh, any uh, stop loss okay he did not specify it for any stop loss so I'll put null in here so this, these all trades will having no stop loss value it will certainly have us a, a take profit value which I'll uh, I'll write here the take profit uh, value and I'll make a variable up here for the take profit. I'll copy that stop loss and change it to take profit. Well, I think this stop loss is uh, is not doing anything in this video, so let's remove it. So here I we have a take profit value and a function that opens a sell stop order. I have it. Okay, that's fine. The magic number is used to differentiate between the trades placed by this expert advisor and the trade placed manually. So if George wishes to place, uh, to um, keep uh, running this expert advisor on his chart and he also wants to actually um, place his manual trades, he can do that. So we'll write the magic number in here which uh, which we have got from here. Let's change this number to something, something nice like 302. Okay. Well, 302 means if you have killed somebody and you are, um, well, let's read that. Okay. We have one, one function which opens a buy trade, and also we don't need a stop loss here. We put null. And we need a take profit value which will which we will get from here like ask plus take profit multiplied by point. so here we have we have a function which opens a buy trade we have a function which opens a sell stop trade let's make another function to open a buy uh, sorry sell stop trade so open open buy stop buy stop well, this function will pretty much open open a buy stop order at particular price okay let's go ahead and copy this code and change it a little okay so for this particular tutorial let me make uh, this lot add the lot factor in it and what we are going to do in here we will increase the lot factor by plus 5 for the next use okay 
so what we are going uh, what we are going to do what we are doing here we are increasing the lot vector by lot vector sorry lots plus equals lot vector because we are simply increasing the number of lots here as per requirement what we were asked we were asked if uh, the trade uh, if the expert advisor places a trade um, with one lot it should open the the sell stop order with the lots uh, if it places a trade with one lot the buy order with one lot it should place the sell stop order sell stop order with 1.5 lots so what this uh, this thing will do it will increase the lots with the lot factor like if lots were one it will add uh, it will add the uh, lot factor into the lots and it will increase the lots so here the lots become the lots variable becomes 1.5 so it will open a sell stop order and the lots are 1.5 here so here it is increasing the lots by uh, the lot factor so here the lots become 2 and if in case it opens a buy stop order the lots will be 2 in here okay so let's uh, let's go on in it so it will be a buy stop order buy stop order at the price ask mm, plus 50 multiplied by point so what this this function will do it will take the current ask price and it will add 50 into it and it will place that trade that buy stop trade at that particular time okay the slippage null and the take profit value we have we have chosen for this trade and i think all is that let me change the colors for this for the trades the arrow which will appear um, for buy trade it will be blue color and the buy the sell stop it will be red and the buy stop sell stop it will red buy blue buy stop it should um, change its color to let's say pink well i don't like pink color but anyways increase the lots by lot factor and we are done so in this video tutorial in this part i have created three functions needed in this expert advisor uh, which will place uh, certain trades okay so i think i will continue this uh, video in the next part and then we will be creating our our expert advisor and we'll use these functions in there so keep uh, keep watching this uh, video series until you get a complete working expert value thank you